Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the Zoom webcam video is not working properly on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to check the Zoom settings. Now once you open up the Zoom app, make sure to head over to the gear icon in the top right corner which is the settings location and now in the settings window head over to the video category on the left pane and then on the right side you have the camera options. In here make sure that the default camera is selected and then you can check if the problem still persists. Sometimes it happens that the default camera is not properly selected from the drop-down menu and this can be problematic. Alternatively, you can also tick the box next to original ratio to keep up with the original ratio of the camera and then you can close this window restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to simply force stop zoom. To do this, right-click the Windows button, then select Task Manager from the list of options. Now in here, the last thing you have to do is simply right-click the Zoom Meetings app and select the End Task option. This will close the Zoom application by force and then you can simply try reopening Zoom and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to roll back your drivers. Now to do this, right-click the Windows button and select Device Manager from the list of options. And now in the Device Manager window, make sure to firstly expand the Display section. Now right-click on the problematic device and select the Properties option. In this new window, click on the Driver tab and the first thing you have to do is click on the Rollback driver if you have the latest version and this device fails after updating with the latest version. Now after rolling back the driver you can press on OK and then head over to the cameras section. So expand this one as well, then right click on the integrated camera and select the properties option. Again in here click on the driver tab and then select the rollback driver option. In case the device fails after updating the driver, this is the best option to try out. And after rolling back this driver, you can close these windows, restart your computer and check if the zoom problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update the drivers. Once again, right-click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options. And now in the Device Manager window, this is what you have to do. Expand Display Adapters firstly, Right-click the problematic device and select the Update Driver option. Now simply click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best drivers for your PC. You can then close this window and then head over to the Cameras section and expand it. Once again, right-click the integrated camera and select the Update Driver option. And lastly, just click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows once again will try to find the best possible drivers for your integrated camera. Afterwards, just close these windows, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to simply uninstall and reinstall the Zoom app. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side select the installed apps category. Now just scroll down way way down until you find the Zoom application and then click on the ellipsis next to it and select the uninstall option. Now you can just close this window after uninstalling Zoom, restart your computer, then try to reinstall the application once again and check if the problem still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? As usual, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.